captain as well in cricket all around the world. Oh, how about Tony Mark off, please, lads? <laughs> Game over, let you go. He's gone, hopefully. Here we go. All right, <laughs> he's gone now. <laughs> A little challenge for Kevin Peterson. Nice to see him acknowledge Sid and say, your yeah. bunny's here. And what he's tended to do as well, Gilly, against left-arm spin is sort of play outside the line of the ball. He tends to get hit on the pad and bowl through the gate, expecting the ball to spin. Oh, that's a nice start. Good delivery. He's had four hits in BBL, four for 250, so he has brought his game. A little bit of by-play between Kevin Peterson and Matthew Wade. It's on out there. You can see the boys behind him. Reasonably ambitious, I'd suggest. Yeah, they're on here, the Renegades. They're up and about. They've got a bit of a sniff. And a nice start from Shakib. He's taking the pace off. You can see by Peterson, he's getting right out into the left arm off spinner's line. Trying to negate the ball, spinning past the outside edge of his bat. He's covering it with his pad. Nice. Take that. Peterson's faced 29 balls in, in the power play period in this tournament. He scored 41 runs, so it's 140 strike rate there or thereabouts. He's been pretty positive when he's been called on to come in in the opening stages of the batting innings. So he's got a little challenge presented with Shakib firing in, getting a little bit of grip. He's uh, had a, a very positive outlook in previous innings. Well, he's got a, he's had a point to prove, don't you reckon? Right throughout Big Bash four, he's come out here with something to say to maybe some of the selectors back home. Is that a fair comment, do you think, or not? Yeah, to be honest, I think he's probably over all that now. He just wants yeah. to keep playing. He loves playing cricket. Yeah, well, he again. He's... well, he might be over it, but I'm sharing the commentary box with him on Tuesday next week. <laughs> he's probably answered them all before, but if you going again. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you'll have access to him a little bit later on if he hasn't ripped his microphone out after we left it up. Right. Smashed. White. After a tight first few deliveries. Clubs one for six. So that's a good strike, isn't it? It's actually a shot he's favoured a lot in the power play over to the spin. Getting a long way down the wicket, trying to get that left leg almost outside the line of off stump. He's hit that one 84 metres and crunched into the fence. He had some sort of power. Oh, he's trapped him, he's bent, he's got through everything. He has just beaten him neck and crop, and that the skipper is gone, having blown him away last ball, knocked over the next. That is a huge breakthrough. Looks like he's been done off the pitch there a little bit. Went back. If anything, looked like he tried to hit it a little bit too square. Cameron White, the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Oh, oh spider around his legs. Thanks. You can see that from the back here, Gilly. I thought that had gone snuck through the gate, but it's gone round his legs. So he's got too far across, trying to hit it too fine. Been brought undone. Shakib gets the breakthrough. They're two for 14. It looked like it was perfectly pitched to hit the hit the seam and spin, but it must have missed the seam and hit the shiny surface and skidded on. Whatever the case, leg stump disappeared. And so does Cameron White. It's two for 14. Here's something you.